From Creamy Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. The University of Pretoria has recently purchased four new high-speed cameras that are being used for the measurements of vibration on fast-moving structures. Victor Mollman tells us more. The University of Pretoria Optical and Non-Contact Measurement Senior Project Engineer Dr. Aubrey Oberholster explains that the cameras, combined with an analysis software, are capable of capturing images at 4,000 frames per second at 1.9 megapixels. The system we acquired is a high-speed photogrammetry system. It consists of four high-speed cameras with lighting um, as well as software that allows us to perform um, engineering analysis on the images we acquire. So this is also a high-speed system. We can take images of up to 1.9 megapixels at 4,000 frames per second and by reducing those um, amount of pixels we can get to a maximum frame rate of 90,000 frames per second. The four IDT Vision NX8-S2 cameras along with the team of motion analysis software enables the system to measure events that are too fast for normal camera systems to record. Two of the cameras are currently being used to measure the vibrations on a rotor system that the university has. The system can also be used to measure the shape changes that happens on fast moving objects. The system captures images of any event that you would be interested in. Uh, this can be uh, low speed, high speed. Um, it's got a very wide multidisciplinary application from anatomy to ballistics, um, material characterization, um, all fields of engineering um, could use it. But in essence, it captures images uh, for, from one or more cameras, allowing you to extract measurement information, uh, whether that is displacement, velocity or acceleration, from these images. Um, also just acquiring high-speed images uh, from an event can already give you a lot of information of what is happening um, in events such as a crash or an impact test. Each camera is smaller than normal high-speed cameras, which has the added benefit of making them more portable to be used on locations outside of the university. He explains that the cameras are being used by students at the university as well as by companies that are using the Center for Asset Integrity Management within the power mining and water industries. The system is available for use to academic institutions and industrial institutions. So obviously for academic institutions um, uh, there will be little to no cost involved if we have a collaborative agreement. But our uh, um, consulting arm allows us to do contracts for industry uh, where the industry um, make use of our equipment and our cap capabilities to do tests for them. Uber also explains that the cameras were acquired through the National Research Foundation's National Equipment Program to further increase the university's research abilities. The university submitted a funding application to the National Research Foundation, specifically the National Equipment Program, that is focused around establishing unique scientific uh, capacities in South Africa. Other news making headlines. Names of all IDC clients now being made public. Restructuring of SCORE into three standalone entities at an advanced stage. And IDC reports strong rise in support for black industrialists as disbursements fall. The Industrial Development Corporation has officially started to publish on its website the identities of all its clients, including those officially identified as politically exposed people. In the times we live, with the experience we've obtained, with the fact that this is public money, we need to change and say, important as confidentiality is, <coughs> it is more important that we are able to demonstrate integrity and transparency in the way in which the IDC handles public funding. So the IDC from the 1st of April, as now it's an arrangement that any client who comes to the IDC knows upfront that the details of that client will be disclosed by the IDC. The IDC has announced that the restructuring of its steel subsidiary SCORE Metals into three standalone entities was at an advanced stage. The end state for SCORE, so Marcus is looking at me very attentively, uh, is that we'll probably end up with three companies, uh, with three strategic partners, where in some of them the IDC will be a minority, and in some of them, IDC will be a majority, but in time, reducing. The IDC has announced that its funding approvals have increased to a record 15.3 billion rand in 2017, 
but also confirmed that it would not meet a five-year target set in 2015. If you look at um, the approval uh, rate, it, it has gone up. It's beginning to go up, but it needs to go quite a bit more. We've just breached 15 billion rand this year, uh, significantly higher than the 11, 12 billion we were at some earlier point and very significantly higher than the 7 to 8 billion we were about um, 12, 15 years ago. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.